stream hopefully you guys can hear me okay we're just going to check that on the old uh, audio test let's have a look quickly I hope everyone's keeping well so today they've put in uh, a new update with new baits and stuff like that so we're going to check that out I just want to make sure that this audio is okay come on come on if it ever catches up what go to watch page yes please and yeah we're good we're good right awesome Kyle Carter James Lovell evening mate how are you how are you uh, Kyle how are you James hope you're keeping well my friend uh, saw you running around the dark zone last night um, I was in a team of four so I couldn't invite you my friend but it's good to see you still in now Jack, 496, hi, how are you? I hope you're keeping well. Big timer, Jay's in the house. Welcome, my friend, thank you. Audio is all good, thank you for that. Right, so, let's have a look at these new baits. Now, I'm not going to lie to you guys, I've been in and I've bought it all, obviously. Uh, where are we? A bait. All right, we'll start from here. So, we're going to quickly run through the baits and things like that and where we're going to use them or etc, etc. Also, big bug. I've DM'd you. Oh, nice one, big timer. Thank you. I just subbed. I really like your work. Bam, bam. You're an absolute star. Thank you for that. Sorry, it's a bit late this live stream, guys. I've uh, I had to go to the gym, then I had my dinner. So there you go. Right. Let's make a quick start before we uh lose track of where we are. I'm gonna fish probably Lalac Denor. I've still got a few fish on there that I want. So I might go to there, depending on what you guys think. Um, right, so you've got Hex 14 mil, nice. A savoury base blend of fruit flavours and ultra boosted out and out attraction. Makes the pop-up stand out from the rest. That's a nice coloured pop-up, look at that. Right, then you've got the SOS 20 mil. Wow, this is going to be a real big fish bait. Fish mill base, classic of squid and octopus. With complementing mild, mildly spiced twist. Nice, that sounds good. I wouldn't want to eat it myself, don't get me wrong. So then we've got the scent from hell. Now that sounds a little bit... <laughs> Let's have a look. It's a 15 mil pop-up. So plenty of pop-ups so far. Just in the first three baits, the two of them are pop-ups. That's brilliant. We were described as the best pop-up I've ever tested by none other than Simon Scott. Anyone that don't know, Simon Scott is like a carp fishing guru he he's watercraft and his knowledge of fish is absolutely second to none he's like a fish professor if you like these baits are notoriously known to the industry the worst smelling pop-ups ever produced that sounds quite appealing the scent from heaven so it's a bait works bait a boilie a 15 mil float these mega buoyant pop-ups are regarded as the best pop-ups ever produced as you can tell, they all say that. Every company says that about their baits, guys. But, by many in the angling trade, a fruity, uplifting smell compared to the scent from hell. So, them two. Are they all... Oh, it's Hydra Baits, Hydra Baits. That's bait work. So, nice introduction there for Hydra Baits. That's really cool. Monster Red. One. That, this is a bait that I've used in my own fishing, actually. So it's an 18 mil boilie. This creamy spice combo has become a favourite for a large percentage of anglers because the bait releases its attractors very quickly thanks to a uh, soluble nature. All year round food. Very nice. Okay. Royal Marine, which we know about. So let's just quickly go to the, the lines because the lines are underneath. There is more bait and I'll show you that in a second. So this is the first one, it's Ridge Monkey. Uh, Ridge Monkey are, are well known in the world of fishing, I'm pretty sure. The, I'm after one of their stoves at the moment actually, for my, my own fishing where you can connect the two stoves together. But basically I'm not going to go too hard on, I'm not going to read everything out, okay guys. But basically this is a, a 12 pound line, which is green. Then you've got like a brown coloured 15 pound uh, monofilament. Then you got the white in uh, clear, which is uh, 18. Then 20 
uh, pound fluorocarbon so those of you that don't know fluorocarbon is much like a wiry type of line but at the same time it sinks very quickly so it will lay on the bottom but um, yeah I've used, I've used fluorocarbon in my own fishing before not by Ridge Monkey by Daiwa funnily enough and a tiger line and then they've got a braid which is now 30 pound so that is really good. Right, let's just quickly scoot across this side of the... I thought there was more on this side, actually. Am I wrong? No, nope, that's the bait from there. Right, so we quickly scoot across. On this side, there... Ah, here we are. So, we now have the Night Glow Boilies, obviously. Stands to reason what it's going to do. It's a small-style boilie that sinks... Eterno boilies are restrained and attract nuisance species. Tests have proven that blue and green lights is most visible to carp in low light conditions. Boilies will glow in the dark to attract uh, the fish's attention. We might give that a go. Stands for itself, guys. Look, you've got um, a night glow cone. Yeah, I'm not going to read into that. Obviously, it looks pretty bright. <laughs> Then we got the uh, large sinking artificial prawns intimidation in intimidation idiot and I there you go so imitation prawns I think that was it have I missed anything I unlocked it ah ha ha yes it, uh, no we've done them was there anything further up I can't remember I thought there was more. So that's the new baits anyway. Oh yes, here they are. I thought I was missing one. Right, so. Got a fluoro maggot there. Look at that. Never used that. Hmm. Okay, again. One of my favourites are Bonoffi 15mm by Mainline. Anyone that's used Mainline baits has probably used the Bonoffi. Um, obviously Banana and Toffee for those of you that don't know. <clears throat> awesome bait. I've also got the called the fake baits. Like fake dumbbells which are Bonoffi. And have caught me many fish in the past. So yeah, really pleased with the introduction of that. I might even use that. The Tutti Fruity. Now there is a bait that goes back many, many, many years. I was using um, uh, what we call tench fishing. Uh, and they were like sort of, I don't know, 9, 10 mil I suppose. And uh, so yeah, the Tutti Fruity flavour is one that's been around for a long time. It's a pop-up again. So plenty of pop-ups guys. And here's one that I always keep in my arsenal. Of my, I've got a bucket of pop-ups. And it's the Milky Toffee from Mainline. And again, another awesome bait. So, we're going to be... Um, sort of change. Let's put some Ridge Monkey stuff on. Um, I might try the, the fluorocarbon, you know. No, I might go with the 80... I don't want to use the £30 braid to be found. I'm going to put that on. Right, let me catch up with your comments, guys. Just uh, let me get to the tackle box. Here we are. So we're going to change this 18mm TNT bait out. Here they all are. Look, I should have just come to this page, shouldn't I? But it give you an idea of where the baits were. I'm not going to use any baits that we've used before. So that is off. I'm going to put the Bonoffi on. Definitely, I'm going to use that on the crank rig on a patch of gravel at La Lac de Nord. It's a 15mm bait, so we'll use that. I'm going to quickly just scoot along. I'm not going to go with the Tutti Fruity. I'm tempted by the Milky Toffee, you know. I'm tempted by the Milky Toffee. Let's put the Milky Toffee on. I'm not going to use any Tiger Nuts because we've used them before. We're going to use... Should we try... Monster Red is a good bait to have. Flow. I will catch up with your comments in two seconds, guys. Just bear with me. We're just putting these baits on. Uh, I'm thinking the scent from hell. That's what I'm thinking. And what's that one at the bottom now? Liver Pro. So let's have another sinking bait. Let's make it the Monster Red. Yeah. Right, so that's what we're going with. We're sticking with the size 4 hooks, guys. Let me catch up. Let me just um, make sure that that's saved. Yes, awesome. 
We're going to get to the lake. Whilst that's loading, I can go through your comments. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, nothing else I can see added. Nothing. No new lake. Apparently rumoured for next week, guys. So keep yourself uh, available for that one. New. It looks like perch coming. Oh, press the wrong button. Idiot. Right, here we go. So let's go to La Lac Donor. I'm definitely going to choose my favourite swim on here. You know that, guys. The idea is give these these uh, baits a bit of a test. See how we get on. I'm going to put one day's three hours. Purely because um, I don't want it to go too dark too soon. Let's load that up and I'll catch up with your comments. Right. Sorry about... Oh, oh God. Loads of you. Let's have a look. Callum. Hi, BB. I just got a job at a tackle shop. Yes, you said Callum before, actually, if I remember rightly. I hope that's going well for you, my friend. Welcome back to another awesome stream to an epic YouTuber. Thank you, Jack. You're an absolute star. Who is Jack? Owen Jansons. Hi, Big Bug. Welcome to the stream, my friend. Thank you for tuning in. Big Bug, Jay, I have a request. I have requested to be your friend on Xbox. Have you accepted it? Uh, that's for Big Timer Jay. Callum sent me a message. Just sent it. Callum, I haven't got a message. What's your name? Hedgedo, welcome my friend. I saw your invite the other day, Hedgedo, but I was very busy, so I apologise about that. I was supposed to message you, my friend, but I forgot, so I do apologise about that. Might be an imposter, says Callum. <laughs> Christopher Ryan, hi Big Bug, welcome to the stream, my friend. Nice to see you back in. Awesome, I hope you're keeping well. Hi Big Bug, just joined. What's gone on? We've just talked about the new baits, my friend. That is all. Um... I'll show you the baits that I've picked. There's a whole array of baits and new line and stuff like that. Uh, Gav, Gav Owls. Are these free baits and line or the DLC paid? No, they're free, my friend. You can uh, download them. It's part of the update. Uh, no money's to be exchanged there. I think... Um, the new lake possibly next week. I go to the boss list perch pick is there oh really go to the boss list the perch pick is there I did have a look but I didn't see it let's just quickly quit out guys we're going to go back in there but apparently the perch fish is there so let's have a look at it so if I go to the boss list angler's profile boss fish oh hang on species Yes, there it is. Ha ha ha. Nice one, big timer, Jay. So the purchase is distinctly fish, a deep greenish body marked with dark vertical bands and its dorsal fin is stiffened with spines. This is very true. Anyone that's been spiked by a perch knows how that feels. And the uh, gill covers are very sharp on a perch as well. See where the, the, at the back of the head, the gills, them, they're almost like armor plated. The tail and fins are orange and uh, yeah, nice. So are they actually in the game now? Because I had a look. Let's just click on here. I don't fish the observatory, guys. That's why I've not caught nothing from now. Just seeing. Or is that going to come with the new DLC, I assume? Oh, okay. So they're not going to be actually in the game yet. Oh, that's cool. Well, at least we know it's definitely perched then. So that is awesome. We'll get that going again. Sorry, guys. I had to check it out. As soon as Big Timer Jay said, yeah, there's a picture there. I was like, what? <laughs> I'm going to put light clouds. I'm going to put it on static. We know static. Oh, hang on. Hang on a minute. Three hours, that's it. We know static doesn't mean flat glass calm anymore. So we know about that, guys. Right. Where are we? Hedge do... New stuff, old problems, catch three pound fish on 20 mil tiger nuts again. Hedge do, I've been having a conversation in um, the Big Timer Jay's uh, Dovetail Games page. Small fish do take big baits, okay? I've caught roach on size six hooks, 18 mil boilies in real life. Um, when the fish are that hungry, they will just peck and peck and peck and peck at the bait until it's gone why won't it 
Is it frozen? Oh, it froze up for a second then. Until the bait is dwindled down enough that eventually that they get caught, they sort of get nipped by the hook. And the same goes for small baits don't mean you're not going to catch big fish, okay, guys? If you use small baits in real life, you're going to catch big fish. It's a fact. So it is what it is, my friends. you just got to kind of get your head around it. Right, Milky Toffee straight on that one. I love Milky Toffee. Right, so that's the... I've got a hinge rig, size 4, milky toffee, 15 mil. We're going to go to rod 2. I like to set my rods up before we get out there, guys. I've got to use this. The scent from hell. I mean, I know they're both white baits. I'm going to use it on a hinge rig again. And rod 3, I think I'm going to use the banoffee on the crank rig. That's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling that right now. Crank rig on the 15 mil banoffee, and I've also got this uh, monster red there as well. So we'll see how we get on. Right, let's find this bit of gravel. I think it's about 30 yards or something like that. So let's get these out. And I need to bug out the boss, purchase it. Right, actually, new stuff. So, problem big timer. Are you okay, you're sorting that out with Callum. Nice. Okay, right, let's get this one out in the weed. Hi, Bug. Do you know when the new lake is out? I've heard a rumour. Um, militia, is that? Mil militia? Sorry if I butchered your name. I apologise. I've heard a rumour for next week. Um, how true that is, I have no idea. But it's just a rumour. I hope it is. To be right, let's get that one out. Oh, we're off. That's on the scent from hell. has gone straight off. Let's see. Let's see what we got. Oh, wow. Oh, what's that? Look, there's like a yellow bar down there. Oh, you can retrieve. Ah, oh, look at that. I don't know what that is. Is that real speed or something? Yeah, you can adjust your real speed. Nice. Okay. All right, you can adjust your real speed by look. Is that real speed? I assume it is. Looks like it. Please, girl. My coffee's gone cold. Sorry about that, guy. Quickly down my coffee, so the wife just offered to make a fresh one. Can you join me next time? Zero zombies, we'll see what we can do. Hey, what's up? Sammy boy, welcome to the stream. Decam plays. Oh, message retracted, didn't say that though, sorry. All the rods have gone crazy, they're loving these new baits. Wow. Not seen any caught. No problem. I've not seen any or caught any yet. Oh, right, yeah, you've yet to do it, big time mate, have you looked, don't be a pain in the neck Callum for big timer okay, right, come on, reeling the slack, trying to read your comments and, but what do I think of this new line then, not too bad to be fair, did I put the, I didn't put the line on, I didn't change it. Oh, what an idiot. Never mind, we'll do that next time. I'm trying to keep up with your comments, guys. Bear with me. Oh, oh. Come on, come on. No, don't you come off. Oh, I'm going to stop winding. I knew that was going to happen. I don't know what happened now. It was, um... Yeah. Uh, rod one. Rod one's heading across the horizon. That fish come off right under the tip. I just couldn't couldn't do anything with it. Good evening, kittens, says Moggy. Welcome to the stream, Moggy. Thank you for tuning in. Zero Zombies says, hello, Big Bug. Welcome, my friend. That yellow bar is real speed, mate. Yeah, I thought it was. Docs, welcome to the stream. Matt's in the house. How you doing, Matt? Hi, Big Bug. 
Big Matt in the house. Welcome, my friend Paul P. Welcome. Hi, Big Bug. Been watching you and Big Timer J. I learned a lot about Euro fishing. Thanks. That is awesome, Paul. That is so good to hear. That is really cool. Anything you ever need to know or you think I can help you with or Big Timer J, just give us a shout, dude. I'm sure that goes for Big Timer J as well. Hi, Bug. What has the new update got in it? Ah, giant catfish. So, what did we call you? GC. We're going to nickname you. Uh, the new update has got... It's got new line from a company called Ridge Monkey, which is a well-known com uh, company in the carp world. Or in the fishing world. They do stoves and all sorts of stuff. So, um, a, a nice addition to the game. And also you've got, what, well, I don't know, what was it, about seven or eight new baits or something? Something like that, five new baits. Plenty of new bait, um, including glow-in-the-dark boilies and all sorts of stuff going on. Thank you, babe. Cheers. Oh, you're a star. Thank you. I'm liking the new goodies in this patch. Yeah, me too. I bait it's always been there's so many different types of bait around you know 26 pound 15 nice mirror carp to start session not bad we did lose one straight away i normally cast straight back out but because of the way they sort of just went into one i'm going to get these fish in first 12 new baits right 12 i, I can't remember mate couldn't even remember how to spell my name at times yeah so roughly 10 to 12 new baits something like that have a great stream, Big Bug. Unfortunately, got to go to work. No. But I will re-watch when I get back. Have a nice evening. Yeah, nice one, Gav. I hope your uh, your work goes well. Nice and smooth and all that. I hope it goes quickly for you. Then you can get out there and catch some fish. Right, okay. So, we haven't broke any world records or anything. But... Let's see how we get on. Right, so we're going to hit the weed at the back this time. Around about 28 yards, I want to be. Hi, big timer Jay, says Matt. There we go, 27 yards, nice. Let's leave that there. That's on the milky toffee. Then the scent from hell. <laughs> scent from hell. What a name of a bait. Wow. Wow. I'm likely that they have put perch in the game. Can you catch them on all lakes or not? I don't think they're in actually in the lakes yet. I think it will come with the new update or the new patch. I, don't quote me on that. The only reason I'm saying that is because I've not seen any boss fish. However, I don't doubt for one second that there would be a possibility of one turning up. I'm just going to wind that onto the gravel, guys, before I get that number one. Here we go. I love this swim. This swim is so cool. I do fish this on a, a light clouds type day each time I fish. Purely because I don't want it to be too bright for you guys. BR, ga BR Games. Wow. With the super chat of £20. Thank you so much BR Games. That is awesome. Everyone hashtag BR Games in the chat please. That would be really cool. Thank you so much. It's me, F4. You're an absolute star. Thank you so much, dude. Oh, look. I <laughs> snapped the fish off. <laughs> wow. I was so concentrated on the uh, on BR there. Thank you so much, my friend. You're an absolute star. Right. Okay. Let's get this one back in the weed. No, that didn't work out, did it? <laughs> Let's try that again. Right. Okay. We'll just get this in. Oh, they've changed. Ah, oh, right. I'm pressing buttons to reset the cast. I think it's circle now. Yes. So, when you cast out, guys, you know when you cast out. So, just quickly throw that out there. Thank you, guys. Hashtag BR Games. Absolute star. Thank you so much. And that will go straight on to the, any new updates or new games and things like that to keep the channel rolling. That is awesome. So when you want to, you used to press R1 to reset the car so you could car straight away again. Well, it's now on the PlayStation, it's now the circle button, which is the button to the right 
Um, what's that on Xbox? Let me think. So you got I. I can't think what that is on Xbox now. My bad. I will remember. What's the best bait for the plateds? Ah, yeah. Now, I caught them on... It was either high vis pop up or activate, I'm sure. All right, that's in the weed. That's what we want. And rod three, we've got to make sure that's in the gravel. Banoffee. I mean, wow, what a scent. That is awesome. That is so cool. Hi, big bug. Have I missed much? No, you've not missed much, Jack. Welcome to the stream. Thank you all so much. Thanks again, uh, BR Games. You're an absolute star. That is awesome. Right, let's just uh, sort myself out here. I'm trying to sort, get my coffee to reachable distance, guys. Got to have a cup of coffee where you're playing a fishing game. I mean, it's like when I'm actually... Oh, when I'm actually fishing as well... Um, Oh yeah, what's that all about then? Um, we'll keep an eye on that, we'll see what happens with that, because that's happened a couple of times now. Right, it's rod one again. Rod one is absolutely flying away. Right, uh, da, 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 da. Wiggle Nation, welcome to the stream. Xbox is B. Ah, oh, thank you so much my friend. Yes, B, of course it is. I don't play the Xbox very often, I should do really. They said they changed the re... Reset cast on the PC. I swear it's still the same key. <laughs> They've definitely changed it on um, on the PlayStation. That I can tell you. Liked the video, mate. Love the videos, big bug. Best Euro fishing gamer. Thank you so much, James. That's so nice here. Thank you. All comments. N1 tuba, big bug. Thank you so much, Jack. two seconds i will carry on reading your comments i'll try not lose this one because i'm reading the comments i'm not concentrating what i'm doing it feels different the game i don't it just feels really um not sure it just feels like it's it's playing differently surely a flask of coffee is more appropriate moggy you get my vote my friend gotta have a, a coffee i would love to be able to make a coffee on this game I don't know why, it's just a, a cheesy thing that they could put in. I know it's got absolutely nothing to do with fishing, but when I'm fishing, I like to have a nice cup of coffee on the go. I don't drink a lot of tea. I don't really, I'm not a lover of tea, but yeah, coffee all day long. When I go, a lot of people, when I'm fishing, they come to me and say, all right, mate, you know, have a chat, because I normally carry, like, cappuccinos, latte, um all the different types of coffee because I'm a bit of a coffee guru uh, what does this what does it mean when you have a 16 foot tadpole with a pink belly oh nice one Callum that is the tadpole I'm after my friend so everyone in the uh, chat and on the stream Callum's called uh, pink belly from St John's by the sounds of it which is one of the fish I'm, I'm after um, and I will go there to get it again it's still on the gravel that's cool all right let's get some spot out might have to swap a few baits about here we'll see how we go there's rumor that it could be a little bit harder the game now so that could be interesting um i've been making a pre-edited video as well for you guys of me fishing this exact swim funnily enough i didn't think about that Maybe I should have gone to a different lake. But um you see me I'll catch a couple of boss fish, you know you know how it is and um I keep pressing L one to reset the cast. I can't help it, it's old habits die hard, right? Okay, let's get this one out. Nice espresso machine. It's funny you say that. I was looking in um Angling Direct the other day. And they've got a coffee maker. <laughs> I so very nearly walked out the door with it. I had to stop myself, to be honest, because you know how it is. You go in the fishing shop and you come out, you know, spending more money than you wanted to. And all you've got is a brown paper bag with a little bit of tackle in and you've done 50 or 60 quid. 
I, I will be definitely, definitely, guys, doing vlogs this year when I go fishing each time. Um, so as soon as the weather warms up a little bit, it's a bit cold at the moment, I'll do vlogs. Maybe um, I do fish around some well-known anglers, so maybe if I can collar them and get them, maybe do a few type interviews or something, you know, for you guys to look at. That would be quite cool, I reckon. Right, let's see what happens. Okay, it's gone very quiet. Has the scent from hell contaminated the swim? We might have to change it up. What is the name of the 126 pounder? Because I lost it. I think that's old twin beard, isn't it? I've not had that one yet out of here. Maybe we'll get it soon. Okay, I'm not sure how this uh, real speed affects the fish, but we shall see. Well, he's taking the line, is he? Yeah, 32, 33. Let's up the real speed. I like a fast reel. Come on, reel it in. We'll just watch that, that line tension this time. We'll be a little bit more careful with that line tension because... Um, We've snapped a couple off already. Carpy Chris, all right, mate. T2 Sugars, nice. Carpy Chris is a cup of tea, man. Hi, Fraps. Hi, Bug, he says. Welcome, my friend. I think it should take longer to get a run. Jack, like I said before, um, I think it would be nice to have like a an easy, medium, and hard mode, or easy, normal, and hard mode. So if you want to fish it like a proper simulation, then it's, you can put it on hard and you can make it hard for yourself. Um, if you want it normal, then normal, and then easy, obviously. Uh, for newcomers to the game, maybe something like that. But that could be one option. Look at that. Nice linear. Wow. That is awesome. Bit pale for my liking. I'd like to see the, a few more colours in the body. Like I know there, them linears are in here, but I'm just talking about this one. Once again, guys, look at the size of the propeller on it. It's got a massive tail. That's nice. Twenty-seven pound. What was that on? What bait was that on, guys? That's on the milky toffee. It's nice. Okay, so got a feeling fish style baits would suit this one better, but we'll see how we get on. Like fish sort of based baits, you know, like a fish mill. Smelly, stinking krill or something like that. I don't think it's useless. Yes, I agree. What have I missed there, guys? Sorry. Let me just scroll the chat backwards. Combine fishing with coffee making vlog. Uh, you know that's happening, Moggy, right? You know that's going down. These bloody bream are taking 18 mil dumbbells, but they do in real life, my friend. If I had a pound for every time I caught a bream in real life on 18 mil baits, honestly, I would be a very rich man right now, and I'd be able to do YouTube every day without having to worry about going to work and stuff like that. But that's not going to happen, obviously. By the way, MP line snapping bug will be fixed in the next patch. Oh, nice one. Am I missing something, or is this new real feature pointless? I, yeah, can't be Chris. I, I'll be honest with you. Um, I don't think it's a feature I'll be particularly touching much. That's the feeling I get so far. Yes, I agree. I don't think it's useless. Fair one. I suppose that might come into effect a bit more. We'll see. We'll see how it goes, because I've only had a couple of fish so far, so... Let's see what happens. I want to talk to you guys, but I need to put some spot out. Two seconds. Uh, you know what I mean. I want to... Oh, here we go. The old spot. I keep pressing the, the L1 button again, guys. I can't help it. I cannot help it. That's going to take me ages to get used to, that is. Here we go. So, again, the milky toffee strikes again. We might have to move them other, bait, uh, other rods over. Mrs. Big Timer J, evening uh, Big Bug, good evening to you sweets, I hope you're keeping well, hope you've had a great day, Kirk Xbox One says hi, welcome my friend, thank you for tuning in, on the PC it's brackets and, ah oh, okay, 
on PC, I'm not very clever on PCs, dude. I've got to be honest. I use one every day for work, but uh, Hi Frap says in real life at my lake, sometimes it takes only seconds to get a run. That's awesome. Our fish are very, very hard late. Sorry, got to go. No worries, Jack. 496, take care, my friend. I spoke to them about a month ago about adding the difficulty. Oh, awesome. They said they're going to pass it on to the dev team. That is awesome. Bestie, what's an new on 1.9? So, okay. So, on 1.9, we have... Uh, I think we discovered 12 new baits... Um, all sorts of baits going on now. This looks like a little catfish on the milky toffee. Nice. Uh, 12 new baits. And I think there's about 3 or 4 new lines by Ridge Monkey. We've now got Hydra baits. Um, we've also got things like milky toffee pop-ups. There's a lot more variety for pop-up baits. Um, they've made some changes to the controls. So to reset Cast's circle. Um... I think they're gonna they've made it a little bit harder for boss fish I'm not sure about that but we'll see 32 pound 11 not bad that is a decent sized tadpole right let's get that back 32 pound you wouldn't mind that in real life would you let's get this one out five new lines 12 new what is your biggest fish so far that one you just seen me catch, my friends, my biggest one so far, £32. Pound. Uh, in this live stream, I should say. In this live stream. Right, I've noticed the old uh, crankbait's not doing a lot. What we got there? The Banoffee. Okay, so let's wind that in. Pressing the wrong button again. Uh, let's change that to the 18mm Monster Red. I'll tell you another good bait in real life used to be the Red Robin. Do you remember that? Any carp anglers out there? And even match anglers, we used to use the Red Robin baits. Used to add it in for a bit of uh, extra. Right, so I want the gravel. There we go. Nice. Right, let's catch up with your comments. Yeah, I'm good, thank you. And yourself? I'm really good, yeah. I went, went to the gym today. Nearly killed myself. A uh, bit of a shock to the system going to the gym for the first time after all these years. <laughs> but yeah, so I've been doing that for the last week or two. But yeah, all good. All good. I was off work today, which is really cool. Not back now till Sunday, I believe. Yeah, Sunday. So I've got the week off. That is really cool. Hopefully get some uh, get some live streams and videos done. Mrs. Spirit Wolf. Hi, BB. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for tuning in. Noddy Taylor's in the house. Welcome, my friend. How are you? Bestie, what I want to see on Euro fishing is feeder fishing, feed, uh, feeder chair, and stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, they could definitely go down that road if they wanted to, for sure. Um, I think the game is quite, has been, up to this point, I think the game has been concentrated around the sort of bigger fish. There's that milky toffee again, guys. I might have to change them all over to that. Because the, the fish are loving them milky toffee pop-ups. Um, it has been sort of concentrated mainly around the bigger fish. But I think what they're discovering now is that the a lot of people like catching the smaller stuff as well. Hence, like now, like you know, people are like, I want this roach and I want that bream. And I think it's got to the point where they're like, right, let's add something, a, a small species in. So they're going to add the perch, as we saw. We're not sure if we've got any perch in the lakes yet. I personally haven't caught one, but... I use Scopex Vanilla, best bait in Austria. Oh, nice, my friend. I use Scopex Squid quite a lot. That's quite a good bait over in the UK. Tell me by finally come in 12 minutes. Catfish, £69. Very nice. Very nice. Let's get these fish in. Come on. Rod 3's gone for a blast. Look at that now. That's interesting. I took the Banoffee off. And I put on that um, that Monster Red. Come on. Get in. Come on. I want to see what's on the Monster Red. Come on. Giving him a little bit of abuse. 
Come on. Might change my reels on this as well. Go for a slightly different look. Right, rod three. Awesome. This is where I want to pick up the slack line and I want him to set sail right through the middle of them. Uh, right towards that island. That'll do nicely. Nice big, I don't know, boss fish. That'll do. I'm losing the plot with the new controls. Yeah, me too. BB, I'm not going fishing this weekend. I'm going to... I'm going skiing instead. Oh, nice, my friend. Nice. Skiing involves that soft white stuff, doesn't it, called snow. That's why I don't think you'd much. I like snow. I like it when it snows, and then the next day it's gone. I love it, because I love seeing it, but then it's like, okay, we've seen enough of that now. You can go. <laughs> <laughs> Try the 20 mil SOS boilie. Uh, I will do. I don't think I've got it equipped. We can equip them, though. I can go to the sign soon and just change that up. That's no problem. As you know, BB, I caught Meg. Yes, congratulations on Megalodon and Cheetah on live stream last night. I'm really made up. I didn't know you was live streaming last night. And mind you, I was playing the Division, to be fair. I've been trying to get a video together for the Division. Well done with Megalodon, though. That is awesome. So pleased you've caught him. Caught him three times as well, didn't you? So I understand. Right, let's have a look on rod one. <clears throat> a nice catfish on three. What vape juice you vaping on, Big Bug? I've currently got um, Game of Scones. Oh, look at that. That's a nice fish. Which is a scone with cream and jam. And then my custard one that I normally have, vanilla custard with marshmallow and cheesecake here we go get this out I'm going to Manor Farm soon very nice a friend of mine went there uh, the other month actually done really well over there he did he had a 30 a load of 20s he done very well over there actually ah oh, just gone to pick this fish up and the other rod's gone off Nice tadpole, £25 one. We're going to quickly throw that back. I want to get this rod. There we go. I just had a massive splash. Whoa, that don't feel too bad, actually, that fish. Drag set on 32, and he's taking line, and it's almost... I mean, look, look at that. He's really pulling. The thing is, we get a good slush, but not good enough for snow. That is so true, Sammy boy. That is so true. Fire rats in the house. Welcome, my friend. It's on YouTube. I'll definitely take a look at that, Miss Spirit Wolf, for sure. In fact, I think I watched it. No, I did. I, I didn't watch your last night's stream, but I watched a couple of videos you put up very recently, the last day or two. Last couple of days, I watched them. I'm vaping on strawberry. Uh, strawberry is one of my favourite flavours in a vape. I've got to be honest. Strawberry and this di and the other one I really like is a raspberry flavour. This is a really good fish. It's really pulling line. He's kind of headed over into that that bay over there. I should put a, a rod over there, really. That bay looks so tempting. If it was real life, I think I would definitely stick a. A big thunder cast on and get it over there. What's it? 91 yards? That's not that far. Update Euro Fishing now. Very nice, my friend. Bestie, any news on any DLC new places? Just pure rumours at the moment, Bestie. But I understand it could be as soon as next week. Don't take my word for that. That's rumour that I'm re I've been reading through the forums and stuff. Um, but if the introduction of the perches there although then i don't think they're in the lake yet i've not heard of anyone saying they've actually caught one but it has shown on the, the list of boss fish or list of species um so we'll see i thought this was going to be a boss fish but now i'm beginning to think this could be just like a 30 and up at like a mid 30 or something 32 i'm going to guess 32 pound on this fish I live in the Alps of France, so snow in the winter. Oh, that's nice. Uh, 
GC, that's cool. If I lived in the Alps, I would definitely be skiing. Oh, I saw a white tail there. Oh, it's a catfish tail. It's so white. Look at that. That is awesome. An albino cat. Oh, no, it's changed to grey. Oh, it must have been the sunlight on it. Oh, I was getting all excited then. <laughs> nice. Don't forget, guys, if you guys and girls could give us a little thumbs up, that would be really cool. It's a kitty cat. Prince, welcome to the stream, my friend. Johnny Taff, it's a catfish. Again, £89. Very nice, my friend. This is a £46.11 catfish. I had an 80-odd pound catfish the other day, actually. £83 catfish. I swear it took me around the lake about three times. I couldn't believe it. Right, let's get this one back out. So the milky toffee's really doing it, guys, I've got to say. Only problem with milky toffee boilies, guys, by the way, anyone that hasn't used them in real life, they smell so good you just want to eat them. Not that you would. I'm not saying you're going to eat them, but it makes you want to eat them, you know? I don't suggest eating boilies, although they won't do you any harm. I'm doing well in Hinders 2 e Wafters. Nice. Yeah, Hinders have been around for a while. They're um, they're quite well known for bait, aren't they? The lack is shit, says Johnny Taff. <laughs> oh God. Oh, uh, it's not. It's not that bad. What size is the new bait? So you got 20 mil baits. You got 14 mil baits. Um, it's kind of a variety of sizes, if I'm honest. Um, Mascor. Johnny. You are shit. No, don't don't swear at each other, guys. New lake called Bergsey. Oh, okay. Nice. Yes, I did read that somewhere, Prince, actually. Funnily enough. Oh, I've got coffee here going cold. Oh, my God. Panic stations. Awesome. Right. Nice drop of coffee. It's gone a little bit cold, but I can deal with that. Just downloaded the new update for this game. Nice one, Spirit Wolf. That is awesome. I caught me who was an £89 catfish on the lake. You on BB. Oh, nice one, Matt. Yeah, I've not really... I've caught big cats on here, but none of the boss cats, which is bizarre, really. I thought I might have done, but not had any of the boss cats yet. Hmm, maybe we'll try these new baits out on a different lake as well. Oh, 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 here we go. Please don't do this. What are you doing? Oi, oi, look, button mashing. How is that maxing out? Uh, there wasn't nothing I could do there, guys. I was lowering the real tension right down, but just weren't having none of it. All right, no worries. We'll cast that back out. Like so. We can put the line tension back up before we forget. Get that in. Oh, it's a little patch. That's it. Little patch of weed. Just at the... It goes sort of... You get... You cast that. You go, wow, that milky toffee is screaming for attention. I'm going to have to put them other two rods on it. That's all there is to it. The mother two rods are quite stagnant in comparison to this one. They're loving that milky toffee. Have I missed much because I missed your notification? No, you've not missed a lot at all, to be honest. Um, we've had a couple of sort of mid-20s uh, carp. We had a nice looking linear. And uh, we had a 30, was it a 31 or 32 pound cat, something like that. Then we had a 40 pound cat, I believe. Decan plays. Hi, Big Bug. How's it going? I've been fishing at the foundry, but I'm quite new to the game, so I don't have the range to reach the fish. You fish, but having good results from the jetty, though. That is awesome, my friend. Yeah, when you can get them uh, slightly bigger rods, that's what you need to get. Get that sort of 60-yard range opposite that hotel on the foundry. That's where I caught all my boss fish from, that one swim. As you, as it sounds like you sounds like you've watched the video, so you know. Um, but from that jetty, you can you can still get into that area, I believe. 
We might have to stalk it, I'm not sure, but... I should go back to the foundry, foundry, really. I've not really fished the foundry, if I'm honest, since. I caught all the boss fish on there, and I was like, right, I've got to get these cats from St. John. Two fish I need on St. John's, and I've done that one. Then I can concentrate on Preza. I've not fished the observatory much, or uh, La, La, La Arena, is it? La Arena, or something like that. Not the donut-shaped lake. We're going to have to put these other rods on top here, I think, guys. That's what I'm thinking. Nice little carp. £21, not bad. Right, let's cast this one back out. And what I'll do is I'm going to change rod 2 and rod 3 to a, a pop-up. Let's cast that out. Nice. So Rod 2 has got the stench from hell or whatever that's called. Keep pressing the wrong button still guys. It's going to take a little while that. Uh, I'm going to put that on toffee as well. Purely because the milky toffee is producing for me. So I'm going to move this second rod onto it. See how we get on then. Oh, I didn't press the line clip. Yeah, we're not happy with that. Right. For some reason the line clip went on. So we just I must have pressed it. Again, look, that rod rod one is off. I'm gonna sort this rod out first. There we go. Then we're gonna to go to rod one and see what we got this time. Okay. It's free on PS4, yet yeah, this update is free. Fishing planet if you want rivers, guys. Yes, fishing. I couldn't really get on with Fishing Planet. Um, I'm not going to say it's a bad game because some people love it, but um, it did do my brain in a little bit. I'm not going to lie. Oi, oi, oi! Easy. Here we go. Wow. I don't know what this is, but it's desperate not to get caught. Yes, get in there. Well, let's see what this is. I bet this is a tiny little carp that's been snapping us up underneath our rod tip. A bream. Wow, nice. Nice to catch a bream. Not often we see, we were seeing bream. Hopefully that's a good sign. we we'll start getting a variety of fish. Maybe now that's what we know what's sort of um, snapping us up a little bit. That is cool. I do... When Dovetail changed it so that certain fish species wouldn't pick up certain baits and things like that, I did find it a little bit frustrating, to be honest, because I quite like catching other species of fish and not knowing what you're going to get. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm set up for sort of bigger fish, so... But in real life, I'm using big boilies and things like that. I do catch bream and tench and... Even the occasional roach, you know. So it is nice to have a... Oh, this is going to be another bream. Just plonk the rod in the water then. Just to stop him pulling. Here we go. Okay, so that's the answer. If they're snapping you up under the rod tip, just put your rod tip into the water. Nice, a tench. Look at that. Yes, now we're, we're tearing it up. Nice to have a variety of fish on the bank at last. You know, if there's species of fish, like a nine pound tench will definitely pick a boilie up, undoubtedly. Anyone that's seen a nine and ten pound tench, you'll know how big that is exactly. They're quite big fish, you know. Dean Martini 92, yo big bug, how's the fishing? Yeah, I'm loving it, dude, absolutely loving it. Survey 94's in the house, hello, hello, hello. Welcome, my friend. I saw your family and Bean Boozled video. That was amazing. Yeah, uh, mate. We had such a good time doing that video. That was ages ago we've done that. That was so cool, that video. We're going to do it again um, in the summer. Definitely the old Bean Boozled. I think my wife and daughter and that, they're going to London for the weekend. And um, they're going to go into the Harry Potter shop or something and get the one that's like, 
earwax flavour and all that. So I should imagine there'll be a video for that coming up during the summer. Runscape Games, welcome to the stream, my friend. Callum, uh, BB, have you done the challenge I have set you? I can't remember what that was. It was something to do with catching small fish, wasn't it? Didn't I do a small fish video? I'm sure I did. Float fishing works again. Ah, now that's encouraging. We might have to give that a go in a second. That is awesome. Anarchy Reigns, that is cool. Welcome to the stream. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up, guys. That'd be really cool. I don't like to keep asking for it, you know, and but it does help the stream out a hell of a lot. So I really do appreciate that. And if you're new around here and you do like what you see, why not subscribe, guys? If you don't like what you see, then I don't blame you. <laughs> well, get out of that bush. Come here. So the milky toffee boilies are definitely doing their stuff right now. Um, we're not getting much happening on three. Easy. Now, if this was real life, I'd be worried. It was in the reeds and stuff. Whoa. Whoa. Calm down. Whoa. Whoa. Be calm. Be calm. Here we go. Right. Rod two. And rod three's going as well. Interesting. Oh. But put a bit of tension on that. There we go. Nice. Right. Um. I big bug. I just got a boss. The big ride, mate. Very nice. I feel like the devs are not interested in improving the game. They just want to release new DLCs. Um. I apologise, my friend. I can't pronounce your name. A. We we'll call you AJ if that's okay. AJ, um, I'm not sure, you know, they, I think they do quite a few things. I mean, we all know the potential in a fishing game. The problem with a fishing game, in my opinion, is there's so much that could you could do. Um, so, at the moment, it is what it is. I still maintain, I don't think it will be the same game in a year's time as to what it is now. Uh, we'll see. Right, let's get this one in. Oh, oh, easy. Trying to get it in so I can get that rod three. I want to know what's on that monster red. That's what's on that uh, rod three, the monster red boily. So, besides Digger Lakes, as that is only carp. Yeah, that is only carp, Callum. Correct. Survey 94, bit off topic, but you must be happy with a Bamiang. You're looking forward to Spurs v Arsenal at the weekend. I was over the moon with Arsenal signing a Bamiang, my friend. Anyone out there, I'm, I am an Arsenal fan. Um, I love football in general. I, I don't play football no more, I'm too old for that. Um, but I do love watching a good game of football, no matter who it is. But my team is Arsenal. Um, I was over the moon with Aubameyang. I do feel we need some defenders at the moment. And a centre defensive mid. But yeah, I was happy with that. D Martin, where are you going in France? I'm okay with that. Yeah, that's cool. The devs do care. I know they do. They certainly do big time, AJ. We know that. Like I said, the game, for me, the game, I... Look, this is how I put it, guys. When you look at what the game cost, right, and it was a cheap game to buy. Let's be fair, I've bought games for £60, £70, pounds, limited edition, special edition, super the super the, the best edition game you're ever going to have for £70. Pounds, and I've bought it and played it for two hours and thought to myself, I should have just lit £70 pound and put it in a fire pit. You know, I've just burned all that money. This is a good fish. So, when I look at what I paid for the game, what I paid for the DLC, 
in comparison to the hours I've put on this game, I like the game. I'm not going to lie, I think the game is very good. I think it's had its problems along the way. Um, we did have the situation of fish going up on the banks. They they sorted it out. Um, I used to say the fish are going to McDonald's. That used to be my thing. But to be fair, the game's a very, very good game. I mean, it kind of suits me because I'm a, I, I, I fish for carp in real life. So I love the game for that. I love the boss fish in the game. Um, I love the fact that there's some real boss fish in the game that actually do exist. I.e. Big Plated and St. John's. Um, so yeah, I, I really like it. I really do like it. Which lake is the perch on? I don't think they're in the lakes yet, Miss Spirit Wolf. The new lake comes out, we suspect, next week. But that is pure rumour. Um, maybe, let's say a couple of weeks. So I think you might see perch then. I don't know anyone that's caught a perch yet. I'm hoping someone will come in the chat and say... You know, look, I've caught a perch or whatever, but I've not seen... I went through the list of boss fish on the lakes and I didn't see any perch in there. So we'll see. I'm hooked into Megalodon. Yes, Matt, go for it, dude. Take your time. Don't get impatient. That's my biggest thing, right? With fish like that, you've got to take your time. You know, dude, you've been playing the game long enough. Just got to stay patient. Don't be tempted to do anything silly. Fingers crossed you'll have it. I'm doing good. I just caught a perch. Maniac Gamer. Are you, are you, wow, look at that. That's got to be. Is that the big ride or something like that? That's like a hippo. Yes, the big ride. £39, 3 ounces, guys. I'm pretty certain that's on the, the milky toffee as well. We'll double check that in a second. They are in the game. Oh, very cool. Thank you, Manic, uh, Maniac, for that. I wasn't sure. Slow and steady. That is very true. Lalak the not. This is the first time since the game came out. Awesome. I'm playing the same game. You are updated as well. Nice one, uh, Kirk. Well done, well done. Look at species. Yes, I did see the perch in the species maniac just not caught one i don't think i'm using the right baits to catch perch to be honest well done bb nice thank you very much guys let's get him back before we drown him with air and that was on oh the monster red come into play for that one let's have a look what's on this one okay so first boss fish on the monster red the milky toffee's been doing it but the Monster Reds produce the boss fish. Very interesting. That's a nice fish. Look at that. That's a beast. £29.2. Stunning. Love it. Imagine that. You catch the big ride. Then that one. Then what else we got here? And for rod one. I usually cast the other rods back out. But I'm just going to check these fish out first. A nice big bin lid bream. Very nice. Nine pound. Look at that. Like a little dinner plate. Love it. Alright. So. Monster Red. Let's produce the first boss fish. Interesting. Because I would have put my money on the, um, the, the milky toffee if I'm honest. I'm going to get these rods out and have a sip of me coffee. A vape of me vape. Try and, oh, have I cast that hard enough? Just about. We'll just have to put that one down. Might end up with. Yeah, we're going to end up with a slack line. I hate slack lines on the game. Here we go. Right, rod two's out. And our boss fish hunting rod. Number three, the Monster Red. A whole new faith in Monster Red. Big Bug, you managed to get the rods out this year yet? Uh, I haven't, my friend. But I was just saying earlier on, I'm definitely going to vlog it. I'm going to do a bit of a vlog each time I go. 
a hundred percent sure um like i said to you i've got a lot going on at the moment house moving and stuff like that so that's all ongoing and it has been for months and months now i'm getting frustrated with it but it is what it is so no worries there right got rod two on this feels like it's fighting quite differently come on I'm not sure about this one oh 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 right rod in the water okay it's got bream written all over it this has all right that's that one's done let's get on the other rod Okay, so the milky toffee's producing bream. That's, that's interesting. I wonder if that's a... Mind you, if I was a fish, I'm not being rude, if I was a fish and I was swimming along, and all of a sudden I got the smell of a milky toffee boily, I would definitely get caught. Because I'm greedy, I think. <laughs> Another perch at Waltzy. Oh, nice one. Right, so, might have to get the other tackle out and see if we can catch a perch. What do you reckon, guys? Should we try and get a perch? I'll land this fish, and then we'll, um... I'm going to quickly go to the sign, swap my tackle box over, and see if we can catch a perch. I'm sure I've got worms on there. Never call any boss cats on Monty Bravo. Any tips? 20 mil tiger nuts, size 4... IQD rigs and oh look at that a tench very nice and do you know the bit that they call cat alley it's on the right hand side and it's like a little little sort of ditch that goes to the left you want to be in that ditch that's where I caught Megalodon from uh, AJ and that, that was awesome got my personal best carp £24 from that jetty on foundry and it was my first lever very nice well what date you recommend John Jones? What date would you, you recommend John Jones? Are you talking about John Jones, the UFC fighter? Wow. Is he coming back? I mean, there was rumour that he was going to. And then they were like, no, he's still got this drug span and things like that. I want to quickly change my tackle box, guys. See if we can catch a perch out of here. I don't know if there's perch in here. Uh, quick trap. No. No, no. Edit tackle box. Tackle box two. No. Tackle box three. Right, so we're changing over here, guys. You can see what we've got. We've got the wagglers. We've got the 12 size 12 braided hair. An 18 mil waggler as well, which is really small stuff. So we're kind of concentrating on the smaller stuff with this. Real light lines and things like that. So we'll go back here. Claim peg. See if we can catch a perch, eh? Why not? If they're in here, let's catch. Ah, oh, didn't swap it over. What an idiot. Hang on. Bear with me, guys. Yeah, we know. Right. Edit tackle box. Tackle box three. Yep. 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 We're happy with that. Uh. So I use the glow in the dark cone. <laughs> Got mini boilies there as well. Very nice. No, that's what we want to use. So equip. I'm hoping that's equipped it. Pressing triangle. Is it done it? Yes, it has. Right, sweet. It's just changing over. Here we go. Right, we're in the game. Let's do this. Look, can I have a cold drink, please, son? Can I have a cold drink, please? Cheers, mate. Uh, right, let's get on a size 12. With... I'm going to use the chopped worm. On this one. Cheers, mate. Uh, we're going to put this on the gravel, I think. I think. Or maybe the silt. Just this side of it. 
just lost Megalodon. No, Matt. No. I was hoping you was going to come on and say you just landed Megalodon. All right, we're going to go Rod 2. We're going to put on... Oh, I've got a gravel. Oh, what an idiot. Cheers. I'm going to put that on. Sorry, guys. My son was just making me a cold drink. Cast that over there. I want the gravel. Oh, silk gravel. Missed it. I keep pushing the wrong reset button to reset the cast. <laughs> Oh god, some people never learn. Well see, you can't teach an old dog new tricks, isn't it? Right, this is weed. There's the gravel, right, awesome. And I'm gonna go rod three. We're gonna change that to a float with maggot. Now it's a fourteen. Now I don't usually do the whole float thing, but apparently the float fishing's fixed. So let's find out. See what happens. Let me have a drop this cold drink. Sorry, guys. Didn't mean to slurp in your ear roll. He filled it up so much I could barely pick the thing up. There we go. Right, awesome. So apparently the float fishing's fixed. So let's see. Let's see what we can get. Oh, rod one. didn't realise that the perch were actually introduced. I thought they would do a boss perch, but that must be on the new lake, I should think. Oi, oi. Now, I'm using very light line here, guys, so I've got to be very careful. That came in easy. Look at that. That's a monster roach. Just had Miss Priest on the milky toffee. Nice one, Paul. Space Odyssey. Perch are not in the lake. What you on about? I thought they were in now. Perch again at Waldsey. Oh, I see. Yo, BB, thought you would be streaming. The new update, Melts Gaming, welcome. How are you, my friend? I believe this update, they added Perch to the game. They're talking that they've added Perch. We're going to find out. Apparently, someone's just said, no, they're not there. There's a bit of confusion over it. We don't know. So what I've done is I've changed my tackle down. So we're on lighter tackle. Come on. In you come. This is just sitting underneath me. Doesn't want to come in. We'll have a little crack at the small ones for a while. Is that the smallest roach in the history of Euro fishing or what? Look at that. One pound five. Oh, it's not the smallest. It's not. It's not Dave or Alan. It's not Alan. All right, here we go. Yep. Welcome, Ben. I hope you're keeping well, my friend. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to give us a little thumbs up, guys. That'd be really cool. Right, let's cast this one out. Get that on there. Right, sweet. Also, I want to change. Oh no, I'll tell you what, I'm not going to. I was going to make this a gravel rig, but I'm not going to. I'm going to put this on the silt. Which is about there. Nice. Right, we're back on the float. Let's put the float over there. Got pinkies on. <laughs> pinkies on a size 14 hook. Should be using an 18 hook really, but there you go. Let's see what happens. Monster cast with that waggler. Alright. No, a little bit closer. I'm really bad with the float. Oh, no. Really bad with the float rod, guys. I've got to warn you. Here we go. Not so much in real life, but on the game. Oh, this feels like a good fish. It's cruising around. be nice if we landed a monster wouldn't it they have added perch to the species info tab but they are not in the lake yet anyone saying that they have caught perch is a liar and just trolling space odyssey okay my friend 
Perch not added till next lake. Okay, right. Fair one. No problem. I appreciate that, guys. Thank you. Here we go. I saw them in the... I didn't see any boss fish added to the... Uh, I didn't see any perch added to the boss fish. But I did see it come up in the uh, species. So I was wondering. But obviously we have to investigate all avenues, you know. This felt like a good fish, this fish I've got on here. So we'll see. It's only going to be small. It's not going to be massive. What I am going to do though, with no perch, I'm going. I am going to change back to the bigger gear. So if we can tempt a boss fish. And what I'll do is I'll change the boilies that we use. I'd, oh yes, look at that, koi carp. Nice, koi carp loving the worms. Very nice. Twenty-one pound. I've just landed a twenty-one pound fish on four pound line. Very nice. A uh, six pound line. Sorry. This is on four pound line. This one. Alien was uh, Alan was a monster, yeah. Alan and baby Alan from the foundry. A fish that we made up, it was a fourteen ounce roach and a twelve ounce roach, I believe. And it's definitely not mentioned in the patch notes. No, it definitely isn't Moggy, you're right. You said you support Arsenal, sorry for off topic. I'm interested because Arsenal played with my fave team in Europe. Red Star Belgrade. Yes, I remember that. I was watching that game in Belgrade and in London. Very nice, my friend. That is awesome. That is so cool that you travel with your team as well. I love it when um, Arsenal play teams that we don't, in the UK, we don't get to see very often and stuff like that. So that's really good. How are Red Star uh, Belgrade playing this, this season? Are they doing well or? Here we go. Nice. Is there new baits? Yes, there certainly is, Jake. I'll show you those in a minute. J-K-E, Jake. Moggy, nice tent, seven pound. Look at that, that is lovely. Right, we're going to pack this gear down. And we're going to go back and I'm going to put show you the baits on my bait list so you guys can see the baits. Five new lines, 12 new baits. Very true, Melts, very true. I'll quickly show you my edit tackle box. Right, we're going to go back to tackle box one. Right, so the Bonoffi... Right, I'll go through the baits, guys, and then you guys can see. So you've got Bonoffi. It's a 15 mil, obviously banana and toffee boily sink. You've got Tootie Fruity 15 mil, which is a float bait. You've got Milky Toffee, which is a pop-up bait, obviously float. Bearing in mind, guys, um, I've already done this, so I'm going to do it quickly. You've got the Scent from Heaven, which is a 15 mil float bait. I think we'll put that one on. We're going to change the Milky Toffee, even though we're doing okay. Oh, yeah, by the way, you've got Artificial Prawns now. Artificial Prawns. I'm tempted. I'm tempted to put them on. Right, you've got... A glow-in-the-dark boily, which is a small bait, it says, and it's sink. Artificial um, night glow cone. Monster red. We just had a boss fish on the monster red. Very good bait. Hex, 14 mil. A float bait. SOS. I think we're going to put that on. The SOS as it happens. I'm going to change the months. I want to put baits on we've not used yet. So let's go with the scent of hell. No, I don't want that. Uh, SOS. And so we've got scent from heaven SOS and let's go we tried the hex the hex didn't do that well did it tutti fruity there you go which is float so we've got two float baits two sink baits All right guys that's awesome let's equip that tackle box hopefully that's done 
save changes right let's get back on the bank so we've just changed our baits to four new baits the SOS works well yep yeah, we'll try it out now my friend see how we get on right so rod one obviously is not chopped worm guys by the way right so rod one we're going to put on the hinge rig we're going to put sent from heaven rod two we're going to put SOS no we're not no we're not no we're not we're going to put the tutti frutti tutti frutti right okay and rod three we're going to put on a gravel rig so it's got to be a sink bait and we're going to put that on the SOS wasn't it someone said SOS works well sorry just looked again said perch added for future lakes oh yeah it does yeah sorry read it didn't read it correctly no no problem my friend no problem uh, it was panic stations for a second I was like <gasps> I've got to catch perch they've added them to the lake I need to catch one <laughs> Right, let's get this one on the gravel. Thank you very much. We'll get the other two. I've got on a hinge rig size 4. And they're both on pop-up. So we want that in the weed. Around about 28 yards would be perfect. There we go. Just bring it slightly left. Very nice. And same with rod 1. Did that say chopped worm? No way. Oh wow, the tutti fruit is off straight away. Whoa. Could be a good fish this one. It's taking line. Nice, this is a good sign guys. Is there any perch yet? Apparently not, we're not sure, not yet. Facing against CSK Moscow in one uh, sixteenth in Euroleague, Arsenal was first in our group, and in front of us there was eighty thousand fans against Arsenal Stadium capacity fifty five. So many fans with fake cards. <laughs> yeah, that happens a lot, AJ. To be honest, um, but I mean that's why that's what I love about the European fix uh, fixtures when Arsenal go to places like. Um, to come to Red Star Belgrade or CSKA Moscow, um, the fans, the fans are absolutely amazing. Like I don't get to go to the games abroad, obviously, but when you see it on the telly and they're all singing and there's flares going off, the atmosphere looks amazing. This is a big fish, guys. This is really going for it. I'm going to have to be a little bit careful with this one. This is 123 yards now. Now, this happened to me the other day, and I had an 80-pound eight, catfish, or 83-pound, I think it was. This is going to go around the corner if I'm not careful here, so we're just going to bring that back this way if we can. See if we can uh, tempt him this way. Just got. A, I'm, just, I'm just a passenger at the moment, guys. This fish isn't stopping. It's not giving up, it's not doing nothing, so I've just got to sit with it and hope for the best. And see where he goes. 150 yards now, could be interesting. Big Bug, my man, the Terrier, 1909. How are you, my friend? Welcome to the stream. Moggy, it's our first season in the Premier League. Top flight in 35 years. Who do you support? Are you Huddersfield? or Is that Huddersfield that have done that? Or Brighton. Did you put the £30 line on? No, I didn't. I've got the £25 Supernatural braid on, I think, at the moment. So, we'll see how we get on. Just had 45 minwa with a fish I lost at Waldsea. Oh, no. Unlucky Scareboat. Welcome to stream. Beast King. Yo, Big Bug, how's you, dude? I am good, my friend. Good to see from you. Hope you're keeping well. 
Golden CSGO. What are the new baits and line? Oh man, there's loads of new baits. There's Banoffee, Milky Toffee, SOS, Spoilies, um, Scent from Heaven, uh, Stink of Hell or something like that. Uh, there's so many new baits dude. Glow in the Dark Boilies. Uh, glow in the Dark Sweet Corn. We're going to lose this fish. Come on. I don't want him to try to come across that land. It's the mighty Brighton. Oh, man. I'm, I was pleased to see you guys come into the Premier League, to be honest. There we go. Right, we're getting him back towards us. I hope that rod three comes off in a minute. When I've, when I've got a big fish on like this, it's nice that the other rods stay quiet for it. <laughs> I don't want to seem ungrateful. I love catching all the fish I can. But, you know, I support Barnsley FC. Oh, nice one, GC. That is cool. Good man. Yeah, I'm good, man. That is awesome. Beast King, nice one. That's what we like to hear, my friend. I'm going to open my game right now just to see. Awesome. Dylan R. Hey, Big Bug. How are you, my friend? I hope you're keeping well. Right, we've got a big old fish on here. He's sitting around 150 50 yards. He's just under the surface. He's in four foot of water over there. What I want is to get him past... If you look on the right-hand side, I don't want him to go down that little... Like that other part of the lake there. I want to get him back if I can. Come on, that Rod 3. Come off, please. Interesting though, we had a change of bait and uh, it's brought on some different fish straight away. I mean, that is really cool. But this is a big old fish. I've got a feeling this is going to be one of those cats, like 50 to 80 pound catfish, I reckon. I don't reckon it'll be um, a boss, but we'll see, we'll see. See where he's heading now, he's like started to veer to the right. Oh no, he's come back left, awesome. I don't want him to go round that sort of right hand side I want him to he's just sitting at 145 yards look start giving him a bit of stick if we can take it easy We've got to stay patient with these big fish don't want to give them too much I'm not gaining any ground on this fish it's just sitting out there so we're just going to stay patient that real so Dylan use eh what was that or tension bar, yes, you can change the tension of the reel, the, the speed of it, look. You can go right down to a nice slow winding, where it's really slow, and then you can up it all the way up to 10. At the moment, I've kept it on 10, um, mainly for stream purposes, really, but we'll see. We'll see what happens with it. 143 yards, right, we're starting to gain a yard or two here. Right, we're pulling him back. Nice. Come on. Uh, the that was the update today, Dylan. It came out today. Big timer, Jay says. Dylan, it's a real speed. That's correct. Nice one, big timer. Don't forget, guys. Go check out Big Timer Jay for me. He's also got a channel. If you click on his name on the right hand side of his comment bar, you'll see three dots come up and it will say go to channel. I would really love it if you go check out his channel guys and give the man a thumbs up on a video or two and subscribe if you like what you see. Big Time of Jay catches lots and lots of boss fish. He doesn't beat about the bush, he showcases the boss fish. So yeah, really cool. Also on his page, you can see a link to uh, the Facebook group, Dovetail. Uh, it's a social fan page. All things about this game. You will also see me in there. I'm in there quite a lot. Every day, in fact, I'm all in. Um, so, yeah. And I'll, what I'll do is I'll put a link in the description, like I did on my last live stream. I put a link in the description to the social fan page. So, feel free to come along and check it out. There's thousands of members in there. And it's a really friendly place. No 
crap. It's not tolerated, guys, in that group. So there's no bullying or nothing like that going on. Um, yeah, and go in and any questions about the game, people are so keen just to help you out. So check that out, guys. I'm big time with Jay. Right. We're 122 yards now. We're starting to gain a bit of line on him. Swimming towards me. It's nice when you get these big fish, but they fight for so long. <laughs> I always think, like, you know, come on, we got to get it in. i got to rush it. <laughs> the pressure. Thank you, Bug. I really appreciate it. Oh, it's a pleasure, big time, with Joe. Thank you so much, dude. You're an awesome mod, and I really appreciate you coming into the streams and showing the support. Giant Catfish, we've just seen, bought a billionaire, I support Barnsley. That is awesome, dude. So they've got a billionaire now, have they? The fish does not want to come in. Bam, bam, you're so right, my friend. Thanks for the support, guys. That is awesome, guys. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate that. Big Time of Joe's an awesome character, awesome dude. So, show that man some love. Mirror Man, there's Perch on here now. Haven't caught one yet. Though, has anyone else? They're not going to be introduced into the lakes until the next lake is released, my friend. So, just keep that in mind. Are you fishing in real life? AJ, I certainly do fish in real life. I don't fish at this time of year in real life because um, I'm what's known in the UK as a fair weather fisherman. I like it to be warm enough to survive. <laughs> don't forget to give us a little thumbs up, guys. That'd be really cool if you're new around here and you like what you see. Why not subscribe? We are currently having the fight of our lives with this fish that's on right now. Um, I've no idea what it is. It's a big one, though. I've got a feeling it's going to be a catfish, probably 50, 60, 70, 80 pound. That's my guess right now. He's at 90 yards. He's just coming back into this bay. So we've managed to have, uh, stop him going round to that sort of right hand side where he's sort of heading now. I didn't want him to go the other side of that little island in front of us because that would have been an absolute nightmare. In a cell phone or in a computer prohibited. Sorry, Callum, and all that. I missed your comment. I do apologise. Read comments whilst playing the game. Like it how you, I like it how you still read comments whilst playing the game. Yeah, I, it is difficult sometimes, but um, <laughs> like occasionally at the start of the stream, you saw I was getting snapped up by fish and things. That does happen, but it is what it is. I do like to stay active with you guys in the chat. Um, it, I enjoy seeing your guys, you guys, the way you comment, what you talk about on this game, and different conversations and things like that. I absolutely love it. So, um, if I could read the comments, play this game, and drink my coffee before it goes cold, that would be awesome. But I'm just not that skilled. But I'm going to have a go at it. Let's go. Coffee in hand. Oh, it has gone cold. BB, do you remember to stick the £30 line on? I read that comment, didn't I? I didn't, Moggy. I didn't put the £30 line on because I'm a bit of a wally. The Zanzi Barbarian. Welcome to the stream. I bet it's a £4 roach. I'll tell you what. You got my vote there, my friend. I bet it is a £4 roach. Or a £9 tench. <laughs> Finally, £30 test. Totally agree, uh, Golden CSGO. I think we've been waiting for that £30 line for a while. Especially when you go to places like Presa del Monte Bravo. You need that big line on, you know. To stop them fish chewing you up on the rocks and things. Right, I put my coffee down now, guys. It's awesome. This fish is fighting so hard. It just... I can't up the real tension anymore, guys. Other than that. Men can't multitask. This is so true, Miss Spirit Wolf. If my wife saw me, she would say, right, you can over wash up and all that at the same time. So that's why I don't do it when she's around. <laughs> I just want to see the fish, please. Me too, Golden. Me too. Right, let's put him under a little bit more pressure, see if we can get him in a bit quicker. I'll just click that real tension up one. 
He's sitting at 69 yards. You saw, guys, he went out to about, what, 150 yards, was it? Hi, Big Bug. Greetings from Holland. Margin Van der Linden. Welcome to the stream, my friend. Thank you for tuning in. Hedgedo. Just caught me out on SOS. Nice, my friend. Nice. Finley, do you fish in real life? I certainly do, my friend. I'm a carp angler. Well, I'm a pretend carp angler. <laughs> All the gear and no idea. No, I um I do fish in real life. I've been fishing for 31, 32 years. So, I've been around a bit. I'm currently fishing a really hard syndicate water where I live. Um, I will do some vlogs on it when I do get out there again, which will be soon. I'll probably You'll probably see a vlog round about March, I would say, guys, pending on the weather. I mean, if it's still freezing cold, then I'm not going to do it. If, it. if the temperatures are, are half decent, then you'll see. Um, don't expect to see a lot of fish, guys. I will say that. It is a really hard water. It's a big, it's a big lake. Um, it's got a low stock of carp, but the carp in there are known to go very big so we'll see how we get on i know why we have the real speed put your tight on your line whilst float fishing and moving the float when you're fishing ah okay that might make sense come on this fish is just not coming in guys i am trying that would make sense my friend noddy i had a big catfish for two hours same lake and lost it mate oh no can't be doing a two hour fight not right now I'm supposed to be running the dark zone right now on the division the division had an update today as well I don't really put my division videos on because you guys love the fishing so as much as I do so that's really cool personal best nice one Finley I live in Holland and this year I am coming over to England to fish in a new fishery near Ipswich. Ah, Scareboat, that's not far from me, Ipswich. That's about two hours drive. So it's not too far. Hour and a, uh, one and a half hours drive, I would say. Just up a road we call the A12. That's so not too far away. Well, good luck with that Scareboat. That'd be really cool. I bet the real speed is handy for spotting. Ah, another good point. Did the spot rod have the real speed? I didn't see. Yeah, because sometimes you just want to lightly just wind in a tiny bit. God, this fish is making my fingers ache. <laughs> you just want to wind that spot in just a tiny little bit and then you end up winding it in too far. My fish has done the same. It was on 200 yards, got it back down to 28.29. Nice one, Jack. Let us know how you get on with that, buddy. Turn down the spot. Doesn't jump back as much. Oh, nice one. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it's not so far. Where I live is like the mecca of carp fishing, to be honest. There's so many carp fishing big waters. We really need to get this fish in. Let's crank this reel up a little bit. Start giving him a little bit of stick got to take it easy because that tension is right up there look he's right up top it's just coming in it's a real slow plod though the fishery is called Hindlesham maybe you know it I don't know it my friend like you said it's a new fishery so not one I've heard, heard of yet Last Sunday I got paid lake on a Brazil and I caught a 21 kilo Tambacu about 40 to... Wow, that is a big fish. That is awesome in Brazil. I'd love to fish different parts of the world. I fished in Norway. That was really cool in Norway. I love the fishing now. Um, I'm not much into sea fishing, but obviously being in Norway it was all about sea fishing. We also also done some um, salmon fishing as well. That was really cool on one of the rivers near the inlet. That was really cool. See the fish coming up. I didn't manage to catch one, by the way, but it was really good to do. Bug, our 1-1 one, one draw. If this is the lake monster, I win. 
No, I don't think you you win. I don't think so. <laughs> I wouldn't give it up that easy, Melch. You know that, dude. Still using the Sonic Tornos, I see. I certainly am at the moment. I am going to change them, though, actually. Um, I only put them on because they were like... They just had that stealthy look. They were black in colour and... They looked quite sort of basier looking on this game, I thought. So I thought I'd put them on. That's something I'd like to see added, a set of baziers. That'd be really cool. This fish is really giving it. I mean, struggling here a little bit, guys, to be honest. Come on, in you come. Let's be having ya. Oh, oh, easy. Don't want to snap him off. If that come off now, I'll end up crying, guys. You don't need to fish in real life when you have the game. Even better for me. I just watch you. You're awesome. Thank you so much, Brett. That is so kind of you, my friend. It is true. Part This game does take away the pain of waiting all winter to go fishing. I've got to be honest. It makes you sort of want to get out there a bit, bit more. Like, I'm getting impatient now. It feels like winter's been here forever. <clears throat> what I should do is not be so lazy and go and fish because on the back of the syndicate that I fish there's a, a river and um, what I should do is grab my match rods and just go on the river I think but it's too cold there's a place like 1 hour 40 minutes from my house 43 kilos never caught one ah oh, your turn will come my friend I love these reels yeah I do as well they look nice I've got to be honest Only 14 yards now. We're at 14, 21. It's kind of going back out. This is definitely going to be a big... Um, I apologise about the length of the fight, guys. Anyone that plays this game understands that sometimes the fights go on and on a little bit. So we've just got to do what we've got to do. Take it easy. Yeah, I will do. Who said that? Golden CSGO there, absolutely. When he gets closer, just lower the drag. Yeah, when he's under that. Paul Black, Paul Bradburn, welcome to the stream, my friend. Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate that. And all your shout-outs on Twitter. You're an absolute star. I appreciate that, my friend. And I hope you're keeping well and having a nice evening. Zig rigs would be good. Also, floating baits and controller floats. And surface feeding carp. Yeah, that would be really nice to be able to fish on the top. I still say it now, though, guys. I'm, I would one thing that I would love to see, right? And you just don't see it on this on this game. And I think it would be really easy to put in ducks. I want to see ducks. Every lake you go to in the country has got ducks. In any country, they've got ducks. I want to see ducks. That would be my... That would make me so happy to have a few ducks swimming about. They haven't got to come and annoy you or anything. Or come even close to you. Just, you know, seeing a few ducks swimming around. I think that'd be really nice. Come on. I'd love to be able to do a bit of pellet waggler fishing as well. Firing out a few pellets. You know, the small pellets. 8 mil pellets going for them big carp that are sort of 2 foot under the surface. That'd be really cool. All good, thank you. Awesome, my friend. Around my area, unfortunately, there isn't any big carp waters, so my best in real life is only £15. All good, my friend. £15, still a good fish. Decam, definitely. Come on, what is this fish doing? It's making my fingers ache. No need to apologise, long fights are worth the wait. Let's hope so, guys. I hope you guys ain't disappointed by this. <laughs> Once I get this in and you realise it's only a £2 roach, then you're going to have a go at me, aren't you? <laughs> Brett, play as I watch, and I have to say, the new real speed feature is amazing. Perfect for putting the bait exactly where you want it. And it's steady drag. Oh, nice one. That is awesome. Irish Gaming's in the house. Welcome, my friend. 
Hope you're keeping well. Yo, yo, big bug. What's going on, my brother? We are currently into a fish that we've been playing for a fair time now, to be fair. Fair amount of time, and it's just not coming in. It's add us out to 150 yards. And we're kind of now starting to just bully it a little bit to try and get it in. Just going to see if I can... Uh, Oh, easy. Right, okay. So I had to give him a bit of a tug there. He was getting a bit static in the middle there. Come on, in you come. Hopefully we can get it before the sun goes down. That would be really nice. Got lots of new baits and stuff on here at Irish Gaming. Don't forget, everyone, check out my friend Irish Gaming there. Go check his channel out. Come on, in you come. This is really having it. <laughs> Come on. My fingers are like, oh, I need an elastic band to put around the controller. Maybe the wife left the hair bubble somewhere and I can try and find it. <laughs> Come on. In you come. 25 yards, guys. That's all. See if we can give him a little bit of stick. 24. 25. 24. 23, come on. We're Right, we're back to where we started. We were fishing roughly from here when he started tearing off. He set sail into the sunset. Come on, in you come. Oh, Twin Beard says Callum, I hope so. Lovely, says Survey. You guys know what is a guppy, right? Yeah, I used to have a... Um, I used to keep tropical fish years ago. And in the big fish tank I had, I used to have a fish, a giant guppy. And uh, he was amazing. An absolutely amazing fish. He lasted years and never got upset about a fish dying. But this was massive, this giant guppy I had. Stunning. And it, we give him a really nice name as well. Fred. <laughs> a giant guppy called Fred. <laughs> He loved it, man. He loved it. He was such a good fish. My guess are already forty pounds. Oh, I think he, I think we're going to go nearer eighty for me. Irish gaming, Callum. Without a doubt, I miss Callum's comment. My apologies. It's either an, a sixty, seventy, eighty pound catfish or a two pound roach. I used to have tropical fish. Big smile. Callum, without a doubt. What have I missed? What did Callum say? I missed it. <clears throat> Can someone let me know? Survey. Put Fred laughing. Yeah, you know. Irish Gaming's put £40. I had one fight on a lake go 3 hours 25 minutes. The fish just hung around 20 yards mark. In the end, snapped off. Oh, I was convinced it was a bug in the game. Uh, it does make you feel like that sometimes, but then all of a sudden you either... Uh, it's definitely a big cat, there's the tail. Doesn't look like old twin beard though, does it? I don't mind fighting these fish, you know, for long periods of time. Uh, but I've got £25 line on, I mean, come on. <coughs> Welly, yeah, a shopping trolley. An old tyre, I reckon, blogged then. Old twin beard. Lake record, oh, I'm not so sure. I, I don't think it ran far enough to be the biggest one. Had the same on Ward C. Nice. Right, come on. I'll break the back of this now. 22 yards. He's been around the 20 yard mark for a long time now. Gonna keep cranking that reel tension up if I can. <clears throat> as soon as that top block drops off, like, oh, easy. Come on. Are we ever gonna get this fish in? So don't forget, guys, if you guys wanna go go to bed and just tune in in the morning, and I'll still be here playing this fish. <laughs> 
Don't forget to give us a little thumbs up, guys. That'd be really cool. I say forty-eight pound cat, four, uh, eighty-four pound catfish. I think I agree. Uh, who said that? Noddy. Yeah, I think I might agree with that. La Lac de I caught twin beard. Ran less than hundred and fifty. Oh, nice. Might be twin beard. Not had twin beard yet. To be honest, I've not had any of the boss cats out of here yet. It's the real speed. Yep, yeah, real speed. Uh, Jack Easy. Welcome to the stream. Zen's a barbarian. Ah, oh, not fished it yet. Laugh out loud. He <laughs> he. Come on, please lose it. Oi, GC, behave yourself. I do apologise about the length of the fight, guys. It's now getting dark as well. So I am giving it stick, though. I mean, look at the the line tension. I've got it right up there. Easy. Dan Pope says, lol. Paul Bradburn, lol. Sometimes we come across these fish, and as much as they're nice to catch on stream, unfortunately, the fight is so long. You know? Wait, wait, behave. 20 yards now. Come on. Right, I don't mind if he comes in nearer the bank, that's fine. Okay. Just ease that tension back a little bit. Got him to a record breaking 18 yards, 17 yards. Easy. Don't want to give him any slack because I don't want to end up trying to pull him back. Lower the drag. No, I don't want to lower the drag yet, my friend. Not yet. 13 yards. I'm going to lower it once he gets a little bit closer. Alright, I'll go to 37. 14. Come on, just give it up. 15, 38. Here we go. 14, 15. Megalodon didn't... I don't remember Megalodon fighting this hard. I want this, this fish tested for steroids. I think he's cheating. Right, come on. It's CMNG. The pressure is on. It's a cat. Slap fin. I, oh, look. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He's right in front of me. Look, I didn't even notice. I was reading the comments. <laughs> No, yeah, come back this way, come back this way. Come on. Come back. No, don't go out there. How is he going out there? I'm pulling against it, I mean. Come on. He's trying to tangle me up in the snags. It's all good. We're nearly there. I want to see a head torch on this game as well, by the way. Anyone interested? He's coming in real close. If he just comes in close to me, I'll just swipe him with the net. Cheating. Laugh out loud. He does. Love it a drag. No, not yet, my friend. Not yet. Snap. <laughs> Says Irish Gaming. <laughs> no. We don't want to. 36. We're going up, guys. We're going up. Look, he's gaining line on us. We don't want that. He don't like it. 18 yards again. 19 yards. Wow. Seriously? Just got a trophy. It's called hauling. It means catching 50 cat, uh, fish on water. So yeah, I think I've had that one. Nice one, Noddy Tyler. That is awesome. Bug, have you hooked the bottom? I think I'm trying to drag in someone's old remote control boat or something i don't know maybe it's still got a bit of battery in it <laughs> it's the new boilies laugh out loud it's running again i know my friend this fish is not giving it up honestly 
Look out everyone, it's Jaws. Certainly is. Come on. Let's get this fish in. Told ya. <laughs> it's as mad as a box of frogs, says Miss Spirit Wolf. This is so true. It is as mad as a box of frogs right now. Not happy about having a hook on its lip. But we can do this. We can get this fish in. I have no idea. I hope this is a boss fish. This is if this isn't a boss fish, honestly. I'm gonna go back to fishing the observatory. <laughs> Not on this fish, please, but I found lowering real speed you can drag up pal. I've also landed a lot quicker that way. Ah oh, right, okay, Brett. I don't really wanna look I'll try it. Yeah, lowering the drag speed just makes him go in line. I'm definitely not doing that. I, not on this one. I know you said not on this one. The fish has no lines in him. Yeah, it has a few lines in him. I think you're right. I definitely want this fish checked for steroids. Watch it. Watch it. Not a boss fish now. Yeah, you know Danny H, didn't you? Welcome to the stream, dude. You could have caught a submarine. I think you're right. I think this is this was caught on the way to North Korea or something. Come on. Please be a roach. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. How funny would it be if it was a roach? Honestly. I wouldn't know what to say. I'd have to post it to Dovetail if that was the case. Three ounce roach. That would be funny. Or even like a £10 carp. That would still be funny. After all this fighting. Oh wow. This fish is back out at 30 yards. This is it this time guys. Come on. I'm going ham now. Come on. Come on. Here we go, 28 yards, 27 yards, I'm up in that tension. 26, 25, 24. That's where we started, where it is now, look. 23. Come on. Easy. 23 yards, guys. Just sitting now. Sulking. 21. 20. Come on. Got to lower the tension a little bit now. Just up it again. Lower it again. Going to end up losing this because I'm getting impatient with it. And the one thing on this game, you've got to stay. You've got to stay patient. As hard as it is. Put your drag up to 100. So you can lose it. Come on, GC. Don't be like that. Yeah, you know that uh, Irish gamer, didn't you? You know, he's not having none of it right now. Like I said, I'm sure I fought Megalodon for less time than this. Less drag. No. Come on, Alan, says Ben. You know my friend, don't you? Alan is on steroids right now. It will snap. Stay patient. I definitely will. We've gone into the dark. Is it 21 yards still? Nowhere near 80 pounds, says Red Eye Bob. I'm not so sure, Bob, to be honest. You can do it, says Paul. I hope so, my friend. This definitely is giving us a bit of a battle, I've got to be honest. More of a battle than I thought, actually, to be fair. I never expected it to be quite as long as this. Come on. That's it. I don't mind him coming real close to the bank over there. We can drag him along the bank. So I'd have had a mate on that with a big long uh, sort of pole and net just to net him up. <laughs> 15 yards. He's starting to get a bit reckless now. Come on. Come on. He's 
He's getting tired. Feels like I'm trying to drag in a Ford Fiesta or something. Or an old car. Come on. I think this is a solid cat, says AJ. You know that, my friend. I think it's a solid cat. Yeah. Zzz. Sorry, uh, Zanzi Barbarian. I know it's hard, my friend. 100 kilo roach on steroids. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Wow. I need a drink and everything. All right, let's reach around for my drink. This is where I'll lose it. You watch. Okay. Right, let's see if we can get this fish in. This is just not having it. He's he's getting close and then he's like, nah. Not today. I don't want to come in today. <laughs> so this is on the new baits as well, part of the update. So it's encouraging. Right, wake me up when it lands, oh, Irish gamer, come on. Stay awake, dude, it'll be worth it, I promise. Come on. That's what I said, unfortunately, you're going for the big fish, but the playing of the big fish just takes so long, you know? On steroids, just like an American basketball player. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what makes them players be able to jump to the moon and back. <laughs> Come on, let's get him in. Really am trying to, I should have put that £30 line on. That's what I'm thinking now. It's a shame you can't just magically put £30 line on. <laughs> 22 yards. It's dark. It'll be morning in a minute. You watch. Here we go. Wait, right, easy. Here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. He's coming. Going. 12 yards. No, come back. Don't go that way. 14 yards. 15 yards. Oh, come on. Look at rod 3 right over there in that bay. That was the one that was on and then came off. If this isn't twin beard, I'm deleting the game. <laughs> Yeah, if it's under £60, I'm unsubscribing. <laughs> oh, God, the pressure, guys, the pressure. I can't take it. Come on. Now would be a really good time. If anyone needs a toilet break or wants to make a cup of coffee or anything, you might as well do it now. <laughs> I'll see you in about 10 minutes. Right. It's back at 15 yards again, guys. I just can't... There's nothing more I can do. Look, the line tension's right up there. It's at 15 yards. It don't even look that big, that tail, does it? I mean, you can hear the, the line tension. Beep, beep, beep. I've got it maxed. I have to crank that down. I'm going to end up losing it otherwise. I subscribed when you was at 700 subs. Nice to see the channel grow so much. Well done. Thank you so much, Jack Easy. It's thank you to you guys. You guys are awesome. Um, I think a lot of people are going to be unsubscribing tonight because I'll still be sitting here playing this fish. <laughs> oh, oh, is this it? Is this it? No. Come back this way. He's at 10 yards, guys. That's the closest we've had him. Oh, wow. Come on. Come back. He's getting close. He's getting close. He's getting tired. I sense it. The steroids are wearing off. I sense that he's coming in. 
No, he's going back out. He's definitely as mad as a box of frogs. It's not that big, unfortunately. Well, I don't know, Red Eye Rob. You say that. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, Red Eye Bob, sorry. You're going to ruin Wink Wednesday. <laughs> My apologies, man. <laughs> it's a forest fan. <laughs> It's fair looked, yeah, it must be fighting like this. Wow. Did you say <laughs> Oh god Eighteen yards, wow, still The Ebro catfish releasing a late Dunor, yeah, I think you're right. Come on, says GC. Be patient, dude. Look at the size of it. It's a monster. Might be one of those um, Chernobyl catfish. Did you ever see that on River Monsters? Where he fished in Chernob uh, the Chernobyl area. Chernobyl, is it? And he was catching them catfish. Some of them were huge. Come on. Seriously now, my finger is actually really aching where I'm holding that trigger. I've actually got cramp in my finger right now. Come on, 14 yards. We got this 16 yards. No, you're going the wrong way. Come back, come back this way. Starting to gain line again. It's not good. Come on. I got him. We're locked up. I mean, look. He... Whoa, easy. Didn't like that at all. I'm just going to pull that rod back as much as I can. 19. Wow, seriously. What you got on two? Yeah, two pound line. <laughs> I thought I'd break out the heavy tackle tonight. The two pound line. Now this is on twenty five pound supernatural, guys. I use the macro arena in the frog. <laughs> yeah. If it snaps, I'm smashing my TV. Oh God, I'm not buying you a new telly, dude. So don't do it. It must be a catfish. I caught bug. Oh, awesome. He's rip rolling you over. Gonna give you up. Yeah, you know. Boy, don't snap off. Just lowering the tension just a little bit. Banging it straight back up. He's at 11 yards. Oi, come here. He seems to get a little bit closer each time. You notice he goes on a little surge. And he comes in round about eight, uh, nine, sort of ten yards. And next time he comes in, it's nine yards. Might as well have a vape. Typical. I need to put juice on it. Wow. Just lower that tension just a little bit. Now it's gone dark. Hopefully you guys can still see alright. You probably see more than me to be fair. It's at 15 yards guys. As you can see. We're all eagerly watching the yardage. Look how calm it's gone. I'm sure I could have wound in the Titanic quicker than this. Have a little vape. Right, let's get the tension going. Come on, in you come. We've had enough now. About 20 minutes ago. I mean, we've been going for what? How long's this fish been on for? It must be the best part of half an hour, 40 minutes? 50 minutes? Serious amount of time for a fish, isn't it? 
serious amount of time. Come on, 17 yards. Let's get, let's do this. Let's get him in. It looks small. It certainly does, GC. But honestly, mate, I've got 20. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. No. Get in. Nine yards. I'm holding him. Eight yards. I'm not letting go. <coughs> I'm, I'm not letting go. I've had to lower the tension. No, I don't want to lower the tension. Right, so see then he went to eight yards. So I think the next time he does that, guys, we'll have our net in the water. That's what I think. <coughs> Excuse me. Wow, I wasn't expecting this stream to be this late, to be honest. <laughs> I did say to you, you know, tune back in in the morning. <laughs> Don't forget to give us a little thumbs up, guys. I know this part of the game, sometimes when you're fighting these big fish, takes a long time, and I do apologise for that. There's not a lot I can do right now, to be honest. Sheer guts and determination. I just want to get this thing in. I'm just going to keep... Oh, he's come off. <laughs> oh, my God. After all that, seriously, come off. <laughs> I bet you're still fighting this fish in two hours, I believe this button you know, don't you? I had to eat, drink my tea, and spend... <laughs> oh, God, what the fuck? Book. <laughs> Love me, ass. That's it. No, what the fuck? Oops. And this happens. Yes, it does, my friend. I'm unsubscribing, says Callum. Come back. No way, no. That's the way it goes, guys. That is exactly how it works. It works like that in real life as well. So we can't grumble at that, to be fair. So, guys, that was a quick run at my, the new baits. I'll be back tomorrow 100% for another stream. Probably a little bit earlier tomorrow. Um, I really, really appreciate everyone tuning in. Don't forget to hit that subscribe and like, guys. Thank you everyone for keeping me entertained in the chat. I really do appreciate it. I'm going to rage. Don't do it, AJ. Don't do it, my friend. Thank you everyone that's been in. Big time, AJ. Thank you so much. Thank you so much um, for the super chat. Uh, la, 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 la. Two seconds, guys. Yeah, it's not letting me go down that far. And uh, Miss Spirit Wolf, don't forget to go check her channel out, guys. Uh, guys, Miss Spirit Wolf does a bit of fishing on there as well. So that's really cool. Look after yourselves, guys. Big love to you all. Take care. Till the next one. Peace.